Hey, what's up you guys? Landon Productions here. This is the Raw Lake to report the news in the media. So let's get started. Spike Lee is a freaking idiot. Do you guys remember George Zimmerman who killed Trayvon? Well, Spike Lee, he decided to tweet out George Zimmerman's address. Except, it was the wrong address. Honestly, how'd you screw that shit up? Good job, Spike Lee. You found someone with a similar name in the phone book. The house that he sent thousands of people to was an elderly couple's house. Are you serious? I mean, what if they got a heart attack because they're overwhelmed with all the people? I mean, these are a lot of pissed off people that want to hurt George Zimmerman. I think we should name Spike Lee the ultimate dumbass. So let's move on to the second story of the day. There was a 32 year old woman who called 911 because there was an emergency. She was lost in the forest and didn't know where to use the bathroom. Are you serious? Can you actually imagine that 911 call? So the cops came to her location, except she wasn't in the forest. She was in front of her own house. It was reported by cops that she was pretty drunk at the time. How do you screw that up? What the hell made you think that you were actually in the forest? And if you thought you were in the forest, you should know that everywhere is a bathroom. Or can you imagine a 10 year old kid or a cop walking by and you're just taking a shit in front of your house? Hello officers, are you also lost in the forest? So when the cops came by, they saw a beer cooler and they asked the woman if they could check it for weapon or drugs. And of course, the woman was like, sure. But I have to warn you guys of one thing. There might be a knife in there. So when the officers went to go check, instead of a knife, there was a loaded gun. Are you kidding me? Did all that just really happen? This all started off with her wanting to go to the bathroom and then she got lost in a forest, but she was actually in front of her own house the whole freaking time. But wait, the story goes on. So when she was taken into the jail, they did a strip search on her and they found meth. So now she's facing charges of holding a concealed weapon, charged for having possession of meth, and of course she resisted arrest. Okay, I'm sorry Spike Lee, but this 32 year old is the ultimate dumbass. So let's move on to the third story of the day. In Florida, two teens were arrested in connections to an armed robbery at a beverage store. These two guys back here are 16 years old and 17 years old. Holy crap, are you serious? These criminals are getting younger and younger. And you viewers out there are probably like, well these guys are probably black. Well no, they're white. White people can commit crimes too, you racist people out there. So these kids used two handguns and demanded money from the clerk. And they successfully gotten away with $100 and two cartons of frickin' cigarettes. Wow. And then the next day they went to school like nothing happened. Until one day the cops came to the school and arrested them. I call this a pity crime. They didn't even get much. And now they're getting charged and they probably have to go to a youth jail. How is this worth it? I'm not really saying that this is right, but couldn't they have gone into that store and stolen the money and two packs of cigarettes with Elf the Gun? But honestly, if you guys get caught, you guys will probably just get released with a warning. And if you guys decide to do it again, to steal something else again, you'll probably get another warning. Anyways guys, let's move on to the last story of the day. Also in Florida, a man was arrested for having a meth lab and a camper. Pretty much what a camper is, is a little trailer type thing that you can live in. But the stupid thing is, is that he decided to live in this camper in a stranger's yard. Are you serious? How is the stranger not gonna call the cops? Unless he also thought he was in the forest. Maybe the ultimate dumbass and this guy know each other. So of course this guy was charged for being a not so secretive dumbass. So who do you guys think was today's biggest dumbass? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyways guys, that's all the stories I have for you guys today. If you guys are interested in learning more about the stories that I've talked about today, please click the links in the description below and it'll take you right to the stories. And please remember to comment on this video because your comments always have a chance to be in my next video. I'll see you guys next time. So Canada has finally decided to get rid of their pennies. I'm so lucky I didn't save like 10,000 of them for 10 years of my life. These two men were wearing street clothes. So during the beating, all of a sudden the wife started jumping in saying, stop, 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 I'm gonna call the cops. And then all of a sudden one of the guys were like, we are the cops. What the fuck? Are you serious? What just happened? Two cops came in and started beating this guy up? So after the brutal beating happened, Ross was arrested for assault. <laughs> Wait, what? So pretty much the two policemen in the police report told him to stop resisting arrest. And then after all that, Ross Kennedy wasn't even the right guy. So after the two cops beat him up so bad, they just arrested him right on the spot. They didn't even send him off to the hospital. I can smell